we are all going through something crazy right now and a lot of people's lives have been affected in one way or the other jobs have been lost jobs are at risk businesses have been closed people are becoming homeless since no income is flowing many are going hungry lives have been lost in other countless scenarios these are all painful situations that hit right at our very core as human beings which is very scary and sad and it's causing panic and anxiety among people there's so much uncertainty and you may find yourself stuck in thoughts why me why did it have to happen how am i going to get over this how and when is this going to end wherever you are just know that you are not alone remember uncertainties come and go nothing is ever permanent i believe this too shall pass i want to share some few tips and ways that you can do to help you stay positive during stressful difficult and uncertain tough times Number 1 Have a productive morning routine. I believe morning is a crucial part of our day and how you start your morning determines the tone of how your day will be and end. Having a morning routine allows us to start our day with a positive attitude. Starting our day positively and peacefully sets the tone of the day and allows us to successfully and productively face and handle things that are coming our way without feeling stressed. I always start my day with prayers and uh, it's the first thing I do when I wake up before leaving bed. I pray for a peaceful day and express my gratitude which helps me stay and start my day positively. There's so many things you can do in the morning to make your day awesome. Like you can take some time to meditate even if it's for 5 minutes or you can do a workout if you're a morning person. I know morning can be challenging at times and sticking to a routine can be difficult. Choose what fits you and what you're comfortable with. Let me know what you do in the morning that motivates you in the comments down below. With all that is going on, we tend to get caught up trying to check what's going on, and uh, most of our lives have been affected in so many ways that are unimaginable. And when we constantly go through social media and the news every time, every now and then, it really makes us feel stressed and depressed. It takes us back to zero, leaving us feeling all alone. It instills a sense of fear and anxiety in us which is very very overwhelming leaving us stuck. Take breaks from social media and the news and give yourself time to disconnect. I believe you can stay informed without getting overwhelmed. Try as much as possible not to watch the news on a daily basis and if you do limit the time and do it from reliable sources also I discourage doing it in the morning as it will only mess up your day i try as much as possible not to watch the news on a daily basis i do it after two days just to get caught up with what's going on and if i do it i do watch it at around maybe 4 pm after i'm done with all my important stuff of the day i also avoid watching it at night as it will distract my sleep Just choose your best time and at the end of the day it really boils down to you and what you believe in. Number 3 self care. It's very important to take good care of your body, mind and soul every day as it helps you stay healthy both physically and mentally. It helps maintain a healthy relationship with yourself as it boosts your confidence and self-esteem. Most of us are always busy with work and other distracting things that we fail to create 
or to find the time to take care of ourselves. I believe we now have time and uh, can also try creating time for self-care. Regular physical exercise offers incredible benefits that can improve nearly every aspect of your health from the inside out. It produces a hormone that boosts your energy and mood, making you feel happier and reduces stress, anxiety and depression. Furthermore, it helps you shed some weight. As you know, when working from home, we tend to eat a lot and you can add some weight really, really fast if you don't exercise. So take some time to exercise. It doesn't have to be something intense. Some few stretches and two exercises is enough. If you can access a gym, go to the gym. If you can't, you can just create some space in your house and do a home workout. There are so many videos on YouTube that you can search and work out with them, which can be a great company. For me, I'm always lazy. And uh, before everything changed, I used to exercise every day after work with a group of people. But since the gyms are closed, I had to find something to motivate me, because I find it difficult working out alone. The days when I'm lazy, I find space in my small heaven and just do some stretches and sit-ups. If you're not a workout person, you can try to incorporate walking. Eat healthy. The food we eat has the potential to either keep us healthy or unhealthy by contributing to diseases and weight gains. But it can also keep our minds working and alert. I know right now things are tough. It doesn't have to be a change in your whole meal or diet. Try to incorporate something small like veggies in your diet or just simple fruits within your budget and your pocket. Anything healthy you can get will work out fine. There are so many self-care habits that you can choose from. The goal is to figure out which one works best for you. Learn how to use and implement them in your regular routine so that you can improve your well-being not only today but forever. Number 4. Gratitude Practice Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast and a house into a home and a stranger into a friend. No matter where you are in life, no matter what you have in life, there's always something you can be grateful for. It doesn't have to be something big like a promotion or career change. It can be something small like your phone. Sometimes it's easier to focus on what we don't have rather than what we do have. We often take the small things in life for granted. Imagine living without your phone. How is your life going to be? Being able to step outside to breathe in the fresh air is a good reminder of how many little things we should be thankful for. Gratitude is a choice. It's not about how much you have. It's about choosing to see the beauty in your life. The fact that you are alive today is a gift and you have to be thankful for. So many people wish they were here but are not. The fact that you are watching this right now you have a lot to be thankful for. Having just a few coins makes you richer than most people on earth. Think of different things every day. Notice three things you are grateful for each day and write it down. And whenever you feel down or unmotivated, just go back and look at what you have accomplished. Trust me, 
you will feel better, positive, and more alive. It's a habit that helps us appreciate the blessings and goodness in our life. It's amazing when you notice how you feel when you focus on feeling grateful. Number five, engage in your hobbies. Having a hobby that you enjoy brings us joy and enriches our lives. It gives us something fun to do during our leisure time and gives us the opportunity to learn new skills. Incorporating a hobby into your life can add some excitement that will flow to your life. There are so many exciting activities out here that you all can do and adopt as our own hobbies. You never really know what you are capable of until you try something. Like learning a new language, reading books, gardening, cooking, painting, designing and others. All of us are unique and therefore our interests and hobbies vary. It should be a completely pleasurable activity that allows you to take your mind off your daily life and negative motions, distraction from work and personal troubles. I like telling stories through videos by filming and editing. That's what I did in campus. But unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to do it as a career. So I decided to start a YouTube channel so that I can put my skills into practice and share my creativity with the world. And by doing so, it has really enriched my days and it has given me a great escape from the regular stresses of life. Hobbies helps you relieve stress by keeping you engaged in something that you enjoy and takes your mind off the stresses of everyday life. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend that you start to explore and develop at least one hobby that you really enjoy. I guarantee you that you'll be very glad you did. Check in with friends and family. These are uncertain times and we are currently going through tough times which have greatly affected our well-being in one way or the other. Most of us are living alone and isolated and feeling very lonely, which can be very overwhelming. Make use of social media and reach out to your family, friends and colleagues. Get to know how they are doing and listen to what they have to say and help out where you can. Let them know you are there to talk to and ready to listen. Make stories, play games, make jokes, as they all make the moment cheerful. It can be through Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp video calls, or just a simple call or message. While memes might show that this is a good time for introverts and a bad time for extroverts, no one is really immune to the disappointment of not being able to do things according to plan. So don't just assume that introverts love the seclusion. When you come to think of the plans that you've had to abandon, the business opportunities you've lost, it can leave you feeling helpless and overwhelmed. So it really helps to check in on our friends, regardless of where they fall on the social spectrum. Let them know that you are there for them. This is a time of fear and stress. That's why it's so important to keep in touch during these uncertain times. No one should struggle alone. It really feels good knowing that someone somewhere cares and it really lifts our spirits and helps us stay positive. Number 7. Be kind. A sense of community is created when people are kind to those who need help. There are those who have been privileged to have not lost anything. Let's remember to be kind to one another. After all, when this is all back to normal, what really matters is how we treat each other. You don't have to own all the wealth in the world to be kind. It's the smallest things that count. 
You can spare some few coins and help someone have a meal. You can give out clothes and help someone stay warm during this cold season. If you don't have something to give, you can just smile and make someone's day brighter. A smile is all it takes. Encourage a friend or family when they are uncertain or unmotivated. You don't have to be an expert to do it. Let's all be more kind in our efforts. Not because we have to, but because we want to. And not because others have been kind to us, but because being nice is the way of the heart. Stay positive and constructive even during tough and certain times. And keep on working towards something better. The situation is here with us and we have to embrace it and accept that things are not going to be the same as planned. Life requires the ability to stand up and fight. Find the optimistic viewpoint and ask yourself, what is the one thing that is positive about this situation? What is the one opportunity about this situation that I can explore? I know it's hard to find the motivation to focus on the positive when the situation is tough and uncertain. Don't let your fears determine the course of your destiny. For instance, look at where you are now. I'm sure you have heard and realized that those tough times did last and made you even stronger. Maintaining positivity is a challenge that requires focus and attention. You must be intentional about staying positive if you are going to overcome the brain's tendency to focus on threats. You can do something that makes you feel positive, like listen to music that sounds the way you want to feel, listen to podcasts, watch inspirational movies or comedies. With the power of positive thinking, we can learn to put negative situations in perspectives and deal with them as they arise. Instead of asking yourself, why me? How am I going to get over this? When is this situation going to end? Start asking yourself, what can I do to solve the situation? Just remember that nothing is permanent. Don't stress yourself too much because no matter how bad the situation is, it will change. Focus on what you can control and leave what you can't control. I believe this situation too shall pass.